I was sitting the other day looking for an SEO tool to help me with the SEO work that I do. And I found an SEO tool that analyzes your website, find technical tasks, growth opportunities, and much more. So it's basically like having an SEO assistant constantly monitor your website for opportunities. And the tool is Bootstrap. So let's test it. And the first thing I noticed was the name because it almost sounds like Bootstrap and it took me a little while to figure out how to actually pronounce it. But it is a great SEO tool and I'm excited to share it with you. As a little teaser, then they show you how you can do keyword research in three different ways. And this is just one among many of their great features. So let's dive in and let's start with the technical tasks. Because once you sign up for Bootstrap, you need to integrate your Google Search Console and your Google Analytics. And then based on this and the data that Bootstrap gets from crawling your website, you get a lot of growth opportunities and you get technical tasks. And a technical task can, for instance, be that you need to optimize your image. Maybe it's too large, maybe it takes too much space on the server, because all of these elements mean that your website loads slower. And that's bad for your rankings. You want a fast loading website because that creates a good user experience. So all the technical tasks takes a little while to figure out because it needs to analyze each of your pages. But once it's done, then you basically have a long to-do list of technical tasks you can go through. And if you're using WordPress, then often you can solve these with using plugins. Of course, don't use a plugin for each individual technical task. Take one that covers as many as possible. For instance, for the image optimization, ShortPixel is a great plugin to use. If you get some technical tasks regarding caching, then I can recommend WP Rocket. So there are great plugins that can cover the majority of these technical tasks. And even though the technical tasks are great, then I also found that some technical tasks are not 100% accurate. I had one, for instance, that said that I linked to external websites too much and it was not completely correct. I didn't have that many external websites that it was telling me. So sometimes take these technical tasks with a grain of salt. If you know that you have already solved it correctly, then you can just ignore it completely. You can also remove it on the button in Bootstrap. But the next module is the Growth Opportunities module. And this is super interesting because here Bootstrap goes a step deeper into the analysis of your website to find opportunities of how you can grow your website with low to minimal effort. So for example, I got a long list of backlinks and these backlinks were already pointing to my website, but they were pointing to four or four pages. So pages that no longer existed. So I could very easily either redirect this backlink if it made sense to another post that I have, or I can just redirect it to the front page because there's nothing worse than landing on a 404 page. At least when it happens for me, I'm on to the next website. I don't want to click around and try and find the resource that I was looking for. And I think it's the same for you. So we want to avoid 404 pages as much as possible. And this we do with redirects. And for this, you can use a plugin like Rank Math if you're already using that for your WordPress website or simply just install a redirect plugin. Sometimes your hosting also offers this. And then you have sold a growth opportunity and you now have a stream of traffic that actually does get some benefit from visiting your website instead of just getting a 404 page that brings no value at all. And it's also a bad signal to send to Google that people click on a backlink to you and then they just immediately leave your website after. So it gives a high bounce rate as well. So go through these growth opportunities just like the technical task and ensure that you cover all of them. I would like to see more growth opportunities. I only got growth opportunities based on backlinks but I would love to see more, maybe a special way that we can optimize our website based on the competitors ranking for the same target keyword. I think there are a lot of opportunities they can pursue. And I think if they do this and they add all of these growth opportunities, it's basically like a cheat sheet of how you can optimize your website by simply just going through each task individually. But then they also have a keyword ranking module, and this is tightly connected to Google Search Console because you can't really use this without connecting to Google Search Console, and it pulls all the rankings from Google Search Console as well. So that isolated part doesn't bring a lot of value. We can use Google Search Console for that. Well, what does bring value is that you can group your keywords. So for example, right now I'm testing some different content writing services, 
and I could in theory group each of those writing services keywords that they are targeting and then compare the group to see what content writing service performed best. By the way, if you want to see a video of me comparing these content writing services, then let me know in the comment section below. But with the keyword groups, not only can you compare external authors, but you can also compare internal authors. So you can take all the blog posts written by one freelancer compared to another freelancer. I think there are a lot of opportunities by using the grouping, but it's very simple to use. And a nice little caveat is that you can also fetch traffic volume. So when you have entered the keyword that you want to track, then you can also fetch the traffic volume on those keywords to see where we are at based on the traffic and what you need to pursue. And a nice little add on to this as well is that you can see SERP snapshots. So you can see historically over time how you've been ranking in the SERP and you can see your competitors. And this is nice because you can then compare your competitors and see what competitors are ranking above others. And then you can get inspired from them and maybe implement some of the things that they are doing to increase their rankings and their overall SEO efforts. And it's great to see because more and more SEO tools are doing this. I know the big ones, Ahrefs and Semrush has already been doing this for some time but it also requires a lot of storage because you need to store a lot of data and to rank on keywords, links is a big ranking factor still today. So when I saw the backlink monitoring module, I was quite excited. It's not a module that a lot of SEO tools has and that's because it requires so much server power and volume to run these because you need to crawl millions of websites to find links that are interconnected and then you need to save them in your database and constantly update them. I know that some SEO tools are using the same database for this, which is great because it brings value to us. But if they want to stand out from the competition, they really need to start crawling their own websites. So this is a great feature. And every time I see it, then I get super excited because now I can monitor my website. I can monitor the backlinks to my website and then I can see what websites are linking to me. And the reason why that is important is if you have made a guest post on another website, then they're linking to you because that was part of the payment for the guest post. But if they, after a month, completely remove that backlink, then you will know because you're monitoring all your backlinks. And that's why it's so interesting to have a backlink monitoring module. But also often then you will find backlinks that you haven't really pursued. They just came automatically. And there you will also get ideas to maybe you can pursue similar websites for backlinks. And that's why the backlink module has so many opportunities to within the module itself to find new backlinks, monitor your old backlinks and add backlinks that you haven't seen before. And Bootstraps even takes it a step further with two great features. I can see the top 10 countries that are linking to me. That means all the websites in the specific countries are linking to me and I can see anchor text. So for the linking countries, for instance, I'm targeting United States websites and that's also the majority of the websites linking to me. And this is great because if you for some reason see another country that you are not targeting linking to you, either you want to disavow those websites or you want to start pursuing a different strategy that you're doing now for your backlinks. And the anchor text is so interesting because you want to vary the anchor text for the links linking to your website so it sounds natural but also relevant. Because if you have hundreds of links that just says click here or maybe just here, something like that which is not super relevant to your niche, then if does still bring some value, but doesn't bring as much value as if it was mentioning some keywords within the anchor text that told Google that this keyword is relevant for your website. So the reason why this is also interesting is because you can filter all the keywords with irrelevant text, and then you can reach out to those websites and ask them to change the anchor text to be more relevant. And of course, give them an example of what they can change it to. And this is not something I've seen a lot of in other backlink monitoring. You can often see the anger text, but not in a filter and group way like this. So this brings a lot of value, at least to the way that I do backlinks. Another thing about backlinks is that they're quite difficult to build sometimes and to create because you need other websites to link to you. And it's not all websites that want to do this and what websites even wants to do this. So for this bootstrap, they have developed a backlink checker where you can enter a competitor's domain and then based on that, it will find all the backlinks to that domain that you can then use to pursue those backlinks to hopefully get them to link to you. So again, super interesting with these small tools that helps us improve our SEO efforts overall. And as I mentioned in the intro, 
I was looking for something to monitor my website as well. And this you also get with Bootstrap. Bootstrap will constantly check your website, whether it's live, up and running. And if it's not, then you will get notified immediately. So that's again, having an SEO assistant constantly checking your website, not only for opportunities, but also whether it's up and running. And now for the keyword research that I teased a little bit in the beginning of the video. And I know that I said you could do it in three different methods, but you can actually do it in four different methods. First, you can start with a seed keyword, choose your target country, and then show related keywords. And for this, you actually do get keyword difficulty, which is something that I really like to see because this is an SEO tool. We don't want the competition based on CBC because CBC is for Google ads and paid ads in general. We want the organic difficulty and this we get with a keyword difficulty score. And overall, the results varies a bit. It's not the best keyword research tool I've tried, but it does give me some keyword ideas that I can pursue. And if you want keywords based on AI, that's the second method. Here you can enter your seed keyword, again, choose your target country, and then let AI come with recommendations. And then you both get low competition keywords, high competition keywords, and ideas for blog posts. And I think the ideas for blog posts, it's a great idea, but it shows me very high competition keywords and I'm only interested in the low competition keywords. So either I should be able to set that as a setting or it should simply happen automatically so that I have to do that. The third keyword research method is where you enter a domain, which can be either your own, but also a competitor's. And a competitor makes most sense because now it will show all the keywords that your competitor is ranking for. And then you can find keyword ideas that you can start pursuing. And of course, start with the keywords with the lowest competition score, the lowest keyword difficulty, and then work your way up. And I think it's a great way, but there is one thing which is wrong with all of these keyword research modules. Also the next one that I'll mention, and that is that we don't have any filtering options. I have no way of filtering any of these keywords. The only way I can do it is that I can export it to Excel and then in Excel, basically filter my own way, but it's not very efficient. So this is definitely something that's missing because when you have a list of thousands of keywords, you don't want to manually go through it. You want to be able to filter, search for specific keywords, but that's not possible right now. But the fourth method of keyword research is that it can be done based on content. So you can enter your own domain here and then based on the content, the algorithm will show you related keywords, which are relevant for the content on your website. This is a nice little feature that I really like. If you're completely lost for ideas of what keyword research you should run, then do this into your domain and then get a lot of ideas for keywords and then take the keywords that you find here and then run a keyword research report on that. I think that's the perfect workflow. And even though the keywords that we get right now using Bootstrap aren't super low difficulty, but I really like how Bootstrap are thinking outside of the box, trying to find innovative ways of building these, both the backlink modules, but also the keyword research, trying to think in different ways of how they can actually do it. And we need this to stay ahead of the competition. And of course, at some point, everyone will be using these methods and then we need new methods. So while Bootstrap is checking off a lot of my boxes for what I was looking for, it's not at a point yet where I would use it on a daily basis. It still needs some tweaks, it needs some fine tuning, and then it needs some more data, both for the backlink monitoring module and for the keyword research module. But overall, the growth opportunities and the technical tasks are definitely interesting to look into. But if they can add more recommendations to both the growth opportunities and the technical tasks and fine tune here and there, then I don't mind paying 19 US dollars per month where it is that it starts for their pricing. It's super cheap for what you get, but I want to give Bootstrap three and a half stars. It is a decent product, but it still needs the small details. We need more data and we need especially the filtering options. But if you want to see my current co-pilot within my SEO work, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.